Well, speaking about fraud and corruption, United National Party parliamentarian Vijay Das Rajapaksa convened a media briefing yesterday. The Minister of Education incurred a loss of 2,685 million rupees in 2018 to issue vouchers instead of school uniforms. But if materials were distributed, it would have cost 2,146 million rupees. So the ministry has spent an extra amount of 538.5 million rupees in distributing vouchers. The next issue is the Suraksha Insurance Scheme. It is important to award the Suraksha Insurance to students. 2,700 million rupees were paid to the Sri Lanka Insurance Corporation to establish the Suraksha Insurance Scheme. The ministry spent a sum of 2,700 million rupees to insure insurance worth 400 million rupees. A certain percentage of this amount was reassured in an insurance company abroad, but we do not know the amount. So we believe that at least a sum of 1,200 million rupees has been reassured and sent as foreign exchange abroad. There is a 20% commission according to the usual procedure. There has been a huge fraud when it comes to the reassuring process. Meanwhile, attending an event to declare open a building at the Artumulla Muslim College, Minister of Education Nakhil Viraj Kariwasam expressed these views. The MPs who have sworn in as Ministers of Education during the 52-day political turmoil has made various statements. These vouchers cannot be printed everywhere as certain security features must be inserted. He was not aware of this. It is printed with four colours anyway. As the page was blank, we decided to put photos of the President, Prime Minister and the Minister and State Minister of Education. Not a single cent was additionally incurred for this. The Minister then went on to speak about Suraksha Insurance Scheme. When our ministry called for tenders this time, the tender was awarded to Sri Lanka Insurance. However, the appeal committee then decided to award the tenders to a private company. Do not question me regarding the awarding of a tender to a private company. It was with the purest of intentions we decided to award the tender to Sri Lanka Insurance. However, it was evident that some form of suspicious activity was taking place. Ultimately, these funds went out of the country. The ministry had been informed of the necessary steps that needs to be taken in this regard. However, it will take some time. Our ministry has received large number of claims. Whatever is expected will only be delivered after we settle all of these claims.